Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson. Joining me, analyst Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and reporter Ali LaForce. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Ivica Zubats. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. James Harden out there with George. And it's Mann in at the small forward position. And for the Kings, Herter and Barnes fill the wings. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. Well, Richard, there's an extra tactical angle here. Both teams like to use their benches to create favorable matchups. Yes, two smart coaches here. And look, coaching matters in this league. And so we're going to see which one is going to put together a better strategy. Here we go. So Sacramento will get the first possession here. Oh, stolen by Harden. Leonard with the ball. Fox picks him up. The 11-footer. And that one's long. Here are the Kings with the ball now. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. Yeah, your second unit, those reserves, they can swing a game. Harden against Fox. Harden surveying the D. Pass to Leonard. From downtown. No luck on that one. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Herder passes to Barnes. Six on the shot clock. Here's Herder. Let's it fly. The rebound by Mann. Good shot, gone bad. you got to finish there. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star, Grant? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. You know, Richard, when it comes to excelling in every facet of being a guard, De'Aaron Fox is that guy. And there's no question he can take over with the scoring and get his teammates involved, B.A. He is a pest on defense. This man does it all. Free throws good for Fox. All right, guys, my favorite phrase of the 22-23 season, light the beam. I'm going to be really honest, B.A., it was a pretty cool effect. The Kings lighting a purple beam from their arena anytime they won, it was a really cool rallying cry for the city. And look, it worked. Sacramento ended up ending the longest playoff drought in North American sports. He'll get to his shot. Kawhi with a whole bag of tricks from in close. Fox against Harden. That one rolls around and rims out. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Pass to Leonard. Fades and shoots. And that one drops. Leonard's got six. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Down low. Here's Sabonis. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And to touch on Sabonis' game, his rebounding might not get enough credit, RJ. And it should be. a. He's almost always a lot to be a top ten rebounder in this league. He's a quality passer. And sometimes his glass work falls under the radar. And Sabonis, no good on that one. 
You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. Now here's George. An important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. That one goes. Count it. You know, you've got to maintain your focus when there's that much contact. Kawhi doesn't let it affect him at all. Harden against Fox. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. And Fox powers it home. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like to pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Now here's Harden. Still no points. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Making the difficult look easy. That's what James Harden does. Taking contact, making the basket. 152 left to play in the first quarter. To the inside. Here's Sabonis. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Herder passes to Sabonis. Paul George pulls down the board. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Zubats with a screen on Herder. Let's it fly. George, no good. And Fox has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by three outside Herder. Back to Fox. And he banks in the layup. Fox has got seven points. The defense looking helpless to stop Fox. This guy fears no one. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Well, of late, it seems like Kevin Herter has taken his game to another level, Richard. While a knockdown shooter, the Kings have made it a priority to set him up for quality looks. And they have reaped the benefits of those looks. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Tice is checked in for Zubats. Tucker comes in for Mann. Norman Powell, he's checked in for George. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Harden. Three left to play in the first quarter. It's stolen. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Sabonis with a screen on Westbrook. Four on the clock. Left side Monk. The three is up. The offensive rebound. And there's the rejection. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Powell passes to Leonard. With a step back. And the Clippers miss again. Well, some cribs you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Monk for three. 
No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Clippers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Well, Grant, we're still very early into the season with many teams trying to find their footing and establish some chemistry here. Yeah, B.A., that's what the early season really is all about. I mean, players getting used to one another, as well as coaching staffs, too, just trying to figure out which lineups work best. Fox and Monk, they're the guards. Then it's Chris Duarte. Then there's JaVale McGee. And it's Vizinkov in at the four. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. You have to give Paul George a lot of credit. He's willingly accepted a secondary role in the Clippers. He said, quote, Kawhi is the number one. I'm the number two. There is no ego. I'm totally fine with that. I try to compliment him and also take the load off of him. And Brian, when they are both right, there's not a better tandem in the game. Mm, good point. Top tier. Thanks, Allie. We all know that Fox can score, but there he is reminding you that he can also drop some dimes. George scanning the floor. No good off the back of the rim. And Fox has got the ball here for Sacramento. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Dorte, the pass to McGee. And here's Fox. Jacks up a three. Fires in the triple. Fox has got 10 points. An area that Fox should continue to work on. When he's sinking threes, his offense becomes so much more dangerous. Powell sets a screen. Nice shot from the wing. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. McGee against Tucker. Pass to Vizinkov. Monk with it. Launches it. Another three for Sacramento. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Well, Grant, for Sacramento, 2023 was a year to celebrate. Their first playoff appearance in 16 years. And they did it with a high-octane attack. Their offensive rating that season was historic. And it was just what the Kings needed to return to contention. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. George outside. Tucker with a screen. George with another miss. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. To the paint. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Do not discount how much Fox's playmaking means to this team. He is the floor general. The Clippers trail. Westbrook taking his time here. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's on De'Aaron Fox. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside. Looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. And he's good on the first of three. You look at Westbrook's career, he has always been that guy, a triple-double machine who works hard on both sides of the ball night after night. And 
the second free throw is good. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. What an exciting season 22-23 was for Sacramento. But the run ended too soon, Richard. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people were rooting for the Kings. Fresh blood in the playoffs. But in the end, it was their upstate rivals, Warriors, that reminded everyone who they are. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. The baseline, Jay. George, good. George has got his second bucket of the night. With how good PG-13's jumper is, that is an easy make. Fox, the pass to Barnes. Shot clock at six. Picked by Sabonis. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. Blocked! Here's George. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. Sure, he's sure. had an outstanding career. That's good from George. All right, RJ, let me put you on the spot. In the not-so-distant future, let's say 2028, who's the face of the NBA? Well, B.A., there's a high probability LeBron might still be playing, but my smart money is on Luka. He's already a superstar. Or maybe it's Victor Webinyama. He's 7'4". We've never seen a guy that can do what he does at his size, but I can't wait to find out. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Outside Barnes. Pass to Sabonis. Shoots over Zubats. Sabonis can't hit. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight, but his teammates have pitched in big time. Now Harden. Now Leonard. Defended by Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. If I'm a young fan watching the NBA, Kawhi Leonard is a guy I'm keeping a close eye on, Grant. He does everything the right way. B.A., so much to like about Kawhi's game and how he carries himself. He takes so much Big pride break. in what he Big does break. on both ends of the floor. Yes, the first one falls. A member of the NBA 75 team, Kawhi's done pretty much everything on the court. Multiple finals MVP, multiple defensive player of the year awards. I mean, we're watching an all-timer in Leonard. And the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And Leonard drops them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Herder. Defended by Harden. Again, the miss by the Kings. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Westbrook outside. Driving inside. Out to Leonard. Counted. Now five for seven. And just continuing to pile it on. Leonard is such a ruthless player. Monk passes to Sabonis. Now Herder. Shoots over Harden. And there's Herder. That's good. On the assist by Sabonis. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. When he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. Here's Harden. And there's another one for the Clippers. 
in the paint hard man he's just a tough guard if you get too close you know that this man is a master at drawing fouls Sabonis so outside shoots over Zubats oh at the buzzer wow I didn't think he was going to get it off in time oh wow talk about being poised under pressure big time shot from him there and the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Kings ahead. They're up by four. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And greetings from the 2K studios. Here at halftime, the Sacramento Kings in a tight game. Obviously, the bench gave them a big lip. The credit, the front office for loading up on scorers. You can never have too many of them. Yeah, trying to defend them, you really don't know who to take away. And now let's take a moment to look into the future. Here's the upcoming schedule. And that game against the Warriors... Even though they're ranked a bit higher, the talent on both teams is somewhat comparable. Could come down to which side controls the pace. Do you prefer comparable or comparable, Kenny? I always say comparable. Ah, but that can definitely shift the tide in either direction. We'll see how their styles match up. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Boy, it's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. Paul George out there with James Harden. And it's Mann in at the three spot. Fox for three. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. A monster night for Fox. You can call him a point guard. I call him a scoring guard because that's what De'Aaron brings. Harden against Fox. Harden misses. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Herder passes to Fox. It's deflected. George outside. Basket's good. George has gotten his third basket of the night. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Sacramento has gone three of six from deep so far. 
Harden against Fox. Outside Murray. Inside. That's good from Fox. On the assist by Barnes. Fox has got 17 points. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to man. Leonard outside. Fires it. That's basket number six in eight tries. Pretty incredible just how great a shooter Kawhi has become. Really one of the best in the league. Picked by Sabonis. Fox the pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Harden against Fox. Pass to Leonard. Zubats with a screen on Murray. Now here's Zubats. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. All right, Grant, talking about Avica Zubats, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. And he knocks down the first one. So he makes both from the line. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Here's Fox. Pass to Sabonis. There's Herter with the three. Rebounded by James Harden. For Los Angeles, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Leonard passes to Harden. Here's Mann. Now Leonard, clock at six. Oh, Leonard, a special delivery. They're taking the opportunity to get airborne. Kawhi doesn't hold back when he sees an opening. And Fox, here we go. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Shooting two. And he makes a first. One of the fastest guys in the league. For Fox, it's about using his blinding quickness to his advantage on both ends of the floor. The Kings making a switch here. Monk's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Westbrook, he's checked in for man. And both free throws good for Fox. The Clippers have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Harden against Monk. Here's Leonard. Good D by Murray. And Fox has got the ball here for the Kings. Looking ahead, they've got the Warriors coming to town for their next game. It'll be game number two in their five-game homestand. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Fox double team. Five to shoot. Herder passes to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Excellent body control by Sabonis, rolling off the pick and into position. Here's Harden. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Harden's got six. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Harden against Monk. Pass to Murray. Ooh, Murray, a tough finish inside. Oh, tough play by Murray getting by the contact inside. 
A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Brian, the Kings finally last season snapped their 16-year playoff drought, and Coach Mike Brown said, quote, you take a job to try and build a championship-level team. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you have to believe. We are going to keep working, and we will get there. Brian? Well, that's what he's all about. He's the reigning coach of the year, Allie. Thank you. And Fox, that's good. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Zubats with a screen on Murray. Leonard passes to Zubats. Out to Leonard. Double team on Leonard. Over to the wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Connects from downtown. Five points in the game. Hitting back with the three of his own. Westbrook not giving an inch. Fox against Westbrook. Sabonis with a screen on Westbrook. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. For the Clippers, Tucker's checked in for Zubats. Norm Powell comes in for Paul George. And it's Highland in for James Harden. From the inbound. And it's Fox missing. The Clippers have gone six for nine in the half. It's Powell on the wing. Sends it home from three-point land. And now it's just a two-point Kings lead. Mr. Triple-Double himself doing what he does best. Westbrook's assists are expected. Fox the pass to Sabonis. Over Tucker. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Fox. Fox has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Leonard. From deep. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's De'Aaron Fox making highlights for Sacramento. Providing the scoring punch right now. Putting up a cool 22. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And now let's listen in to Ty Lu in the huddle. Let's fight through it, okay? We got to scream better, play with more pace, all right? This is five minutes. Give us five hard minutes, okay? Yeah. Hey, next play is one hard. See how they play it. Well, with the finish line in their sights, Coach Lu wanting some energy here. Point blank, it's going to come down to who wants it more. And Coach Lu is trying to up his squad's aggressiveness. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Fox and Monk, they're the guards. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then it's Chris Norte. And it's Vizinkov in at the power forward spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Powell against Monk. Shoots from the elbow. And Sacramento again with the bucket. The mid-range jumper is a valuable weapon for Fox because defenses don't always expect it. George passes to Westbrook. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Westbrook against Fox. McGee a screen. Fox the pass to McGee. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. They have no answer defensively inside. Up top, George. Tries to spin move. They double team George. Here's Tucker. And the three off target. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to McGee. Fox against Tucker. And McGee with the stuff. 
and the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Tice. Back to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. So both teams changing it up here. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He was very encouraging with his guys, saying to them, we are still in this one. Don't give up right now. Get out there and let's grab this lead from them. Guys, let's see if the intensity picks up here. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. against Fox. George outside. Four on the clock. Over Herter. George, good. That was a disgusting first half he turned in, but it's been night and day for him after the break. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Deflected! And he's able to get it back. They kick it out to Murray. Pass to Fox. Herder with it. Fires the three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got eight assists here tonight. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Now here's Leonard. Three-pointer. Harden. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. The three from Barnes. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Zubac has got seven rebounds in the game. To the middle. George's shot is off. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Fox outside. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. George with the basket on the assist by Leonard. This team counts on George to deliver points. His consistency under pressure is key to their offense. Now here's Sabonis. Pass to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. There's the athleticism from George getting loose out there. Barnes passes to Sabonis. 133 left to play in the fourth quarter. And it's Fox missing. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Down low. Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. 
And when you look at the numbers over the last few years, it's clear that George has made a jump as a playmaker. Fox against Harden. Fox outside. To the inside. It's hauled in by the Clippers. George with it. Now Herder defending. Harden from outside. Yes! Oh! An enormous three-pointer! Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. And placed out. That's a great. whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. Time out, time out. They have to get in sync. Timeout called. The Clippers. It's tied at 58. There's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth. There's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And Fox has got the ball here for the Kings. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Yes! And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Crucial possession right here. The crowd is on edge. Timeout called. The Clippers. They trail by two. 29 seconds left in the fourth. Twenty nine seconds left in the game. 
Here's George. Oh, he nails it! Time out, time out. And tie game! Huge basket Mark. right there. Timeout called. The Kings. Harden against Fox. Sabonis with a screen on Harden. Fox for three. Oh my! What a shot! And this is the trust that Fox's teammates have in him. What a shot right there. So a close game sees Sacramento taking this one. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. HB, you have playoff experience. What's your advice to these teammates to get to that level? We have the talent. We have the coaching. It's just a matter of every day approaching that with that mindset that we're going to go take it. I think if we come out with the energy and focus that we've shown that we can do, uh, we'll put ourselves in a great position to have fun the postseason. The mental is just as important as the physical. Thanks so much, HB. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.